You just kicked some serious butt in that workout. So awesome job, and now it is time for dessert aka our post-cycling stretch. So if you are on the bike, you can stay on the bike for the first few exercises, and then we're gonna hop down. But we're gonna start with our upper body. Each workout we are gonna hold for 30 seconds, and we are gonna start with our chest opener. So go ahead, take your hands, clasp them behind you, and reach your hands towards the back of the wall behind you. Again, keeping your chest up and breathing. Heart rate should be coming down from that workout. And now this is when we are gonna allow the muscles to get a nice stretch and recovery before our next workout. All right, now we're gonna stretch the neck and our traps. So you're gonna take one hand and gently place it on the side of your head, reaching away with that opposite hand. And your eyes, keep those focused straight in front of you. So you can pick a point and focus on that. So if you think about stretching your arm away as you're bringing your ear to that shoulder. I love this stretch. This really helps if you've noticed yourself, we're gonna take it to the other side, if you've noticed your shoulders coming up towards your ears during that workout. So here we go again, gently placing that hand on your head and pulling away. For each stretch, you wanna feel the stretch, but you do not wanna feel any pain. If you do feel pain, definitely let up on that stretch. Again, keeping your chest up. And after this stretch is win, if you are on the bike, you're gonna to wanna to hop off because we are gonna use the seat for this next stretch. Gently letting your head up. The next stretch, you're gonna take your elbows, placing it on the seat of your bike, walking your legs back, and this is going to be a thoracic mobility stretch. You're gonna look in between your elbows here, sticking your bum to the wall behind you, and breathing, keeping your core engaged here, belly button to spine, and you can feel this all down your rib cage and oh my God, it feels good. Breathing. Good, let's bring that stretch up. It is time to stretch our lower body. So we're gonna start with the hamstring stretch. Use the seat, the handlebars are right in between and we are gonna bring one leg up and folding forward as far as you can for this stretch, feeling it down the back of your leg. And breathing, slight bend in the leg that is on the ground. You don't wanna lock it out, but keeping this leg that you are stretching straight. Trying to keep your back flat, not rounding your back. And we're gonna switch sides. Gently bring that leg down. Whew, let's bring it up. Again, folding into this as far as you can. Once you feel that stretch, you're gonna hold it. And we're holding 30 seconds. And once you've, if you hold it, if you feel like you can take it a little deeper, go ahead and do that. One side may be more flexible than the other. Holding it and breathing. All right, bring it up. We are gonna do a glute stretch kind of in the back of the leg. We're gonna use the bike for balance, taking one leg, crossing it gently above your knee here and sinking down into it. Keeping your chest up. You wanna keep a 90 degree angle with the leg that is on the ground. Good, and sink into it. Good, let's slowly bring it up, slowly come back to stand, 
and switch sides here. Gently crossing that opposite leg over, sitting back into it like you're sitting in a chair, keeping your chest up. Again, think about keeping belly button to spine to help support your lower back. Oh, you can really feel this stretch. This is one of my favorite stretches, actually. Good, bring it up. Working, we just have stretched the backside. Now we're gonna stretch, stretch the front side. We're gonna stretch out our quads. So hold on to your bike, holding on to the top of your foot or your ankle. Again, using the bike for balance. Slight bend in the leg that is on the ground and you don't want your knee coming out in front. You don't want it off to the side. You want them right in line with each other coming forward. Breathing and standing up nice and tall. All right, let's let this leg down nice and slow. Switch it out, opposite side. Again, holding on here, standing up nice and tall. And breathing. This stretch feels so good after those jogs, freeze and holds, jumps, all of it. In our next stretch, we are gonna work. Go ahead and let this leg down. We're gonna cross one leg over. We're gonna stretch out our IT band along with the hamstring just a little bit more. So go ahead and take and cross one leg over and you're gonna slowly bring your hands down, stretching it until you feel the stretch in your leg and then hold it. Again, keeping your back flat. Good, and slowly bring those hands back up. We're gonna switch sides, same stretch. Opposite side, cross that leg over and slowly sliding your hands down your legs, keeping your back flat. When you feel that stretch, hold it there. And can I just say again, High five to you for sticking around for the dessert. It is just as important as the workout. You know I've said this so many times because ah, I just have to, it's so true. It's so important, the stretching. Bring it up, helps with recovery, it helps with flexibility, it'll help prevent any future injuries. Ah, stretching. All right, we are going into a hip flexor stretch now and that's gonna be stretching right here. So we're gonna hold onto the bike, bring it down into a lunge. Leg behind you is on the ground and you're gonna put your hands right above your knee here and lean into it, stretching down the leg that is behind you, the front of your leg in your hip flexor, which is such an important stretch while you're on the bike because those hip flexors can get tight as you're seated, especially if you um, find yourself sitting a lot during the day as well. So holding it a few more seconds and then we're gonna switch it to the other side Let's bring it back. Holding onto your bike again for balance, switching it just to the other side, bring that leg out and lean into it, stretching out that hip flexor. Keep your chest up here as well. Good, bring it back. We are gonna bring it back up and we're gonna go into a sumo squat position where our toes are at an angle out. We have a wide stance, wider than shoulder width, and we're gonna squat it down. You can use your hands and press out here or you can take this stretch even a little bit deeper and use your elbows and press them out, stretching out the inner thighs. 
Again, back flat, keeping your head up. Just gently pressing out on your knees here. Breathing. Slowly bring that back up. We just have two more stretches and that is for our calves. We're gonna do one leg and switch it over. Bring it right behind your bike on the post, right below your seat, bring one foot up. And from here, we are going to, your back leg is behind you a little ways and you're gonna lean into this. You can use the seat here or you can bring it even farther into the handlebars. And your calf muscle, the lower half of your leg there, that's what we're stretching. Slowly bringing it back up. Breathing, switching sides. Bring that foot up on the post and lean into it. Again, you can use the seat or you can bring it even deeper into that stretch, reaching forward to the handlebars. Again, chest is nice and tall, shoulders down away from your ears. Slowly bringing this up. And that was our stretch. You did it. Amazing job sticking around for the dessert. And I will see you for our next workout. I love you.